The overall goal of this procedure is to derive TS cells from mouse blastocysts. This is accomplished by first isolating the uterine horns and recovering blastocysts from pregnant mice. The second step of the procedure is to culture blastocysts on MEF feeders in conditions favoring the growth of TS cells. The third step of the procedure is to expand TS colonies and eventually culture TS cells in the absence of MEF feeders. The final step of the procedure is to culture TS cells with maintenance of stem cell properties to perform cryopreservation and to induce trophoblast differentiation. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show the expression of a trophoblast stem cell marker, i.e. CDX2, in undifferentiated TS cells, or a differentiated marker, i.e. P450SCC, after their maturation into trophoblast giant cells through immunofluorescent microscopy. Hi, I'm Xiaoni Chu from the lab of Wei Xu in the Department of Biomedical Genetics at the University of Rochester Medical Center. Today, we'll show you a procedure of trophoblast stem cell derivation. We use this procedure to study the growth and the differentiation of trophoblast and its role in extra embryonic tissue for the making of a healthy placenta. So let's get started. To begin this procedure, set up a breeding cross between your mice of interest. Next, prepare mouse embryonic fibroblasts, or MEFs, as feeder cells. Two days before the collection of blastocysts, plate MEFs in 100mm dishes.